Hey friends, I'm Jill Kurleski, the super brave teacher, the super brave gay teacher who also deals with addiction. So I always say good teachers take things they've learned, things that they've digested and make it their own. So this is not a new concept. This is something that I've been reading a lot about with Shauna Nyquist. She wrote Present Over Perfect, a book that has transformed my life and really made me reflective on who I am. So, I'm here to talk about addiction. So you might be thinking, why do you want to talk about addiction today, Joel? You have so many other things you can talk about, why addiction? Because it's time to destigmatize it. It's time to stop ranking addictions from the worst addiction to, oh, that's a pretty healthy addiction. Do you hear what I just said? Healthy addiction? Addictions for me are things that I do in my life to fill voids in my life. I still have a lot of voids in my life that I'm trying to fill and figure out for myself. The void of how do I fill the void of family? How do I fill the void of not feeling like I'm enough? How do I fill the void? There's just so many. And for me, I do that through the addiction of work. But guess what? I figured out work and I have this great balance and I leave school every day by 4 p.m. so I must not be addicted to work. I'll specify it. I'm addicted to busyness. I am the person who takes his day, takes his schedule and literally maps out in my head every single minute of every single day. If you got into my brain right now, you would be exhausted. And I say that not to brag because I think our society would be like, Yes, show us your secrets. But to say that I'm not okay with it. And I'm not okay with being addicted to busyness. I'm not okay with using busyness as a drug of like, look at me, I'm accomplishing something. Even though I'm, I have the morning off, guess what? I cleaned the house and I made dinner and I prepped meals for the week and I did laundry and everything is set and I'm filming all these videos. So look at me, I'm super productive and then getting reinforcement by saying, okay, Twitter, like this, okay, YouTube, give me stickers. It, for me, is a true addiction and something that I need to call out in myself and say, no more. A question my husband always likes to ask me, and a lot of people is, how is that working for you? And he says it so gently and without blame. He just says, how is that working for you? When I think of my busyness, 90% of the time, it does work for me. I, it is good for me to have a schedule. It is good for me to have a plan. I don't think any of that is a bad thing. So I'd say 90% of the time, busyness is a great thing. But then when busyness turns to exhaustion, when busyness turns to my body breaking down physically, when bu busyness turns to headaches and wanting to come home and just lay down and not do what I'm destined to do, which is be connected to people and have relationships with people, when it takes me away from the core of who I am, I know I need to call myself on it. So this is what I'm doing about it. It's something I call take two or give me two. In schools, a lot of times you hear teachers say, give me five. And when teachers say, give me five, the expectation is that everybody stops what they're doing, puts their hand up in the air and looks at whoever's speaking for the next instruction. So you say, give me five. What I'm doing is called give me two. And I am practicing slowing down and feeling what I feel and noticing what I feel. And when things start coming up and I start feeling overwhelmed and overly busy, I say, give me two. I might say that out loud to my husband or the teachers I'm working with or my assistant or anything like that and say, give me two. And then I find a way to quiet myself down. For me, it's usually going on a walk or just closing my eyes and breathing. Give me two. And it takes me away from the busyness and it takes me away from the pull of the busyness and it takes me away from everything that's not who I am and it returns me to me. So, yeah. Give yourself two. I encourage you to say, give me two. 
And if you need to proclaim that, give yourself too. That's okay. Now, normally I say, leave a comment below, tell me what you're thinking. And if you want to leave a simple comment below, awesome, I appreciate it. But realize that addiction is a big deal. Not just for me, for I believe everyone. And I am not a licensed psychologist. I'm not a certified therapist, coach, anything like that. I am a super brave teacher and proud of it, but I am not the person to go to for professional help. So I encourage you, if you need that professional help, get that. Because your story, your full story, is worthy of sharing with people who can hold your story. So with this channel, I mean very selective with the stories I choose to tell, that I choose to share with you and let you hold, because I know that you can hold this. I am not choosing to share my full story yet on this platform, because it is my story that I want to honor and share with people who can hold it on a deep, rich level. So I encourage you to do that. Continue to share your story with your community, with your community of family, friends, and loved ones, and to find professional help when you need it, because it's overwhelming, and you are enough, and you are worth it, and you are special because you are you, and whatever void you have, you don't need to fill it with things that remove you from being connected to yourself, being connected to others, being connected to love, I'm just gonna end with that. You are loved. You are loved. You are loved. Have a great day, friends. From the Super Brave Teacher to you. Bye.